Welcome back. New at 10. More traffic, more runoff, and more headaches. Coming to an intersection of five forks. Just what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. That's what homeowners say will happen if an area flips from residential to commercial on Batesville and Rope Mountain Roads. The developer is suggesting a three-story assisted living facility. Tonight, the community raising their voice and, quite frankly, a heated meeting with a mm -hmm. county councilman. Fox Carolina, Shell Ramin was inside that meeting tonight. And, Shell, tell us what went down there. Well, Tori, 600 signatures and a clubhouse packed full behind me tonight, full of people saying they're not anti-change or anti-growth, but they are against this proposed rezoning for many reasons, because as you can imagine, in this case, it hits literally close to home. I used to get to Greenville downtown in 15 minutes. It takes about an hour just getting from here to 385. This cardiologist now leaves for his patients an hour earlier than he used to. It's bumper to bumper traffic in the morning. This group of hardworking homeowners are worried the problem is about to get a whole lot worse outside their front door along Batesville and Roper Mountain Roads. We are opposing the rezoning. Currently it is a residential zoning for houses and they're thinking of making a commercial zoning to allow like a senior living facility. Once you change the zone, it's changed. More traffic, noise from ambulances, plus butting up against a wetland are all cause for concern if a three-story assisted living facility gets approved to sit on this intersection. Where's the water going to go? Where's the rain going to go? We have problems here now. When we get a heavy rain, we get flooding. In fact, that land needs to be developed because it's currently a little bit of an eyesore. I mean, there's two old rundown houses on it. But we would like it developed for what the Five Forks long-term plan was designed for, what Greenville County Planning Commission talked about doing in our area, and that's residential. In a heated meeting with both the developer and a county councilman present, homeowners' worry revolves around kids' safety surrounding two existing schools, asking the question, is the facility needed? We have six nursing facilities within five miles of us. There's no need for another one, and one of those has already gone bankrupt. None of them are filled up. We've already checked. So there's no need. Councilman Chris Harrison tried to present some data on traffic and ease some concerns, but homeowners obviously just want to be heard. Now, I spoke to a developer of that proposed facility who says that they are, it's all about really helping elders, taking care of elders was his direct quote, and that this would not negatively impact that area. But homeowners, as you know, waiting to see if that happens. This is just one of three meetings that will revolve around this hot button issue. They will also go to Greenville County Chambers next week. Of course, we will be following that the entire way through. We are live in Greenville County tonight. I'm Shilvermean, Fox Carolina News.